Okay, hello everyone. Just a quick video breakdown of GBP AUD for you guys today. So this is a trade we took this morning um, and I'm going to show you exactly how I kind of arrived at the entry and what I was looking for. So let's get started. So obviously everything starts with market structure. So as you can see here, it was kind of been ranging in this area for some weeks now. Um, yeah, we've just been ranging in this area for some weeks now. But again, the highs and the lows are kind of high point of here to the low point here and then we kind of started making a lower high and then we made a lower lower low and then we made another lower high in this area but we never made a new lower low so with that lower low in mind breaking this area I've always been in the mind that we can potentially get it right here okay we can come up into this area mitigate it and then go lower so that's been my perspective for some time now um, for some days if you can say a week and a bit um, and then yeah as you can see been catching various entries in and around this area we've got the sell from here um, got a buy from here and then as you can see today we've got another buy from this area also so let's break it down and what I was looking for so we're within an internal structure right now so meaning everything inside is just internal structure meaning we can get a lot of movements happening but this is the major high that's the major low so we now have to respect what's going on internally until we take out the major high or we take out the major low so with that being in mind when I'm looking at the structure here, again, we made a low, then we made some highs in here, then another low, then another high, then a low, high, low, high, and then we made a new lower low, and then price started shifting down, which is why it shifted into this entry, and I was, had the intention of shifting it from here to here, and if not higher. Okay, as you can see, that failed at the time, kind of done 50% of what I wanted, and I'll teach you my risk to reward protocol uh, as we go on, but we got our three to one, and then we broke even, and then it took us, well, I won't say took us out, but it took us out break even, and then we made a new low and then that's when it actually shifted into doing what I wanted it to do okay so since then this is the parameters of what I was looking for and why I took this new trade so again we got this relevant breaker structure at this high okay relevant breaker structure as you can see um, it being higher than all of this and then we made our new low okay and then price shifted up okay which is why now we've got this relevant break of structure so through there, I always knew that price would kick into this area to do something, okay, either off the top of the candle um, or fill in a gap or something. I knew something was going to happen in this area, okay, but I'm not willing to sacrifice 22 to 30 pips of it, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for price to actually come into this area and then we're going to see what the best entry would actually be. As you can already see what it basically is, but this is what it looked like before, okay. This is what it looked like this morning, okay, at 9.01, I want to print screen this, this is what it looked like. And I'll break it down for you to show you exactly why and how this trade was taken. So let me just put rewind into here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the five minute time frame. Okay, and then we'll start breaking this down. Okay, so on a five minute time frame, we already understand. Let me take it back just a slightly bit more. Okay, let me take it back into here. And then I'm going to show you this picture in the meantime as well. So this is the construct of what we always look for. We always look to take out the Asia session lows okay and then from when we take out the age session low then we can shift up to take our age session high which will lead us into a gap fvg ipa whatever you want to call it point of interest mitigation but we just want to trade away from when liquidity has taken out liquidity is taken out from age session low or age session high vice versa if you're selling or buying we're buying in this scenario right okay this will be that so again when you're looking at gp aud Okay, when you're looking at GBAED, what are we seeing? We're seeing a build-up of Asia session, okay, from here to here. My purple box is my Asia session. Okay, living in the UK, starts at 10 a.m. I mean, 10 p.m., sorry, my mistake. And then ends at 6 a.m., okay, and then we get Frankfurt open. So when I'm looking across this, I already know this is yesterday's low, okay, from the previous day, because anything from this purple box to this purple box is one day, and then this is a new day from here to whatever happens over here. So this is yesterday's low of the structure. So I already knew that if I want to take a trade specifically, just based on the way I trade, I want to take out the previous day's low at least when we take out Asia session low. And then when we're looking further adrift, what we're seeing, we're seeing a gap right here, right? So this is a FVG, IPA, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we get that gap in there. So I already know this is also a target for us. And then on top of that, what have we got? We've got, remember, the big 15 minute candle, one hour candle we saw? This is what it looks like on five minute. So I already know all of this price action is clean. There's no gaps, no gaps, no gaps until here. And then this is the last down candle that pushes price above. So I already know this is going to be a target for me in the future for a potential entry. So, I mean, if I drag this across, let's just drag this across for entry. Okay. I already know there's going to be a gap and there's going to be a potential mitigation for us to take 
this trade, okay? One of these two areas is gonna be the one for us. So as price is shifting on, I already know I'm not interested in a buy until it takes out a session low, um, takes out this pricing from yesterday's um, price action, and then we fill in this gap, okay? This was actually like this before, okay? This was classes of medium inducement, meaning we're gonna take out the previous day's low. Okay, this is what this was like prior. So let me hit play, you'll see what starts to happen. So again, as you can see, we've now taken our A session low. So what are most people thinking? Most people are now thinking, yes, it's taken out the low, it's time to buy. Okay, but what do we know? We haven't taken out the previous day's low yet. We haven't filled this gap yet and we haven't mitigated this yet. Okay, so for me, obviously the best entry would be, that's the best possible entry. Obviously we can adapt our things to see what um, price does. But for me, that would be the best possible entry. My stop loss just below here, giving me a four pip stop. And what do we always target? We always target a session high. So as you can see, I've got my one to three risk to reward um, protocols, which means as soon as price would hit this area, three to one, I'll take partials and then I'll move my stop into profit. So now it's impossible for me to lose. And then I've got my one to 10 protocols, okay? So obviously if you're risking four pips, you wanna get 40 back. Okay, that's your one to 10. And But for me, I'm just targeting a session high which will give us a uh, kind of 11.1 11.5 um, to 1 so let's let's carry on with what price actually did so as you can see price is shifting up what have we done it's given a fake break of structure okay many people are already early buying so what's that going to create it's going to create more stop losses more liquidity in around this area okay so when we see that pretty people are getting more excited now they're like oh, yes i'm going to keep buying i'm going to keep buying price comes back Okay, gives them a good reaction again. They're like, yes, I'm gonna buy even more. What's that creating? More stop losses. Okay, what's that creating for the one minute traders? That's gonna be creating what? A trend line. Okay, you already know what a trend line means. It's gonna be liquidity. And that's a sad face. Let me put this at the bottom. Okay, that's a sad face. You already know that's creating liquidity. So when I'm looking at all of this, I'm like, these guys are gonna get taken out. I'm gonna be more patient. So it comes down. Okay, gives them another reaction. And then before you know it, that trend line is taken out and now we've come down into this area. Now we've created a double bottom. We haven't created a liquidity grab yet. We've now created a double bottom. So let me press play a little bit more. As you can see, it's a positive reaction. So many people are now buying again from this area. But what do we know now this is? Okay, this is now a trap. This is now a target. Okay, so I'll put my target. I've got my eyes on it. Okay, again, from these pictures, you can tell what's going to potentially already happen. We create equal lows. We shift up. We're making everyone believe, yes, we are going up. Keep buying. Put your stop losses under here. And then before you know it, boom. We take these guys out of the market and that's where the true move happens. So as you can see, it's creating this effect of equal low. So many people are buying from here. As you can see from the picture, you already know what's potentially going to happen already. Okay, boom, you get taken out. We filled out the gap. Okay, now we're in London session. London session opens at 8 a.m., right? This is the prime time to take your trades. Okay, so we didn't have timing with none of this. But now we've got timing. Okay, it's London session prime time. So what do we get? We get a tap in. Okay, we get a tap in and boom, just like that, four pip stop, and we're on our way to start completing our move. Okay, so this is just about timing, precision, and understanding what to look for, and not being caught in the traps. Okay, so this is what the print screen looked like at 901. Okay, this is what I was going to send out to the team, but unfortunately, unfortunately, my WhatsApp wasn't quite working. Okay, unfortunately, I kind of got into the trade by myself, or I mean, I've done a live session for whoever done the live session with me. They go into this trade as well, but I couldn't send it out to the whole team, unfortunately. So we get our hit, okay? Literally, London prime time. As soon as London has finished, London prime time is nine o'clock right now. Look what happens, okay? We get a tap and then price starts doing its thing, okay? And just like that, okay, we complete our three to one where you should move your stop loss into profit, take 50% partials. And then as you can see, we're reaching our 10 to one right now, boom, just tap. So again, you can take 90% off the table now and just leave 10% running for the bonus, okay? Or you can just say, you know what? I'm confident that Asian high is still gonna get taken and just wait for that to happen, okay? So we got very close, didn't take it out. And then as you can see, price comes lower and then New York kicks in. And then finally, boom, we take out that price action. So just like that, you've got a four pip stop and you've got a 46 pip gain. Okay, I mean, we can target all these areas here as well, take out yesterday's highs and all that, but that's not what you really need to focus on. Just focus on taking out the age session high, and that's going to be more than enough. And as you can see, price starts playing around in this area. So this is where we're at now, and just about we're reaching for this high now. Okay, so just like that, you've got a breakdown of a very, very clean trade, and that's literally all you need. 
Okay, until next time guys, I will catch you real soon.